Talo Falava and welcome back to our English Bulletin. Tonight's headline, Storm Fuller leads to accidental death. Lua Manuval Catalina Sapolu has been appointed at Samoa's new ombudsman, and residents of Faleatiu and Satapuala celebrated the opening of their newly constructed roads. Leading our bulletin tonight, Tom Fullery leads to accidental death. Here's more on this story. Deputy Police Commissioner Awapa Aulongoitino Filippo confirmed that a man in his 20s died last week, allegedly as a result of careless playing with dangerous weapon. Deputy Awapaau reported that the incident took place at Samata in Savai'i, whereby the deceased and his cousin were said to have been playing around. The accused supposedly threw a knife at the victim, causing a fatal injury. The accused has been charged with manslaughter and police are still investigating the incident. In the meantime, Deputy Police Commissioner has warned the public of the consequences of playing with dangerous weapons. Rosalia Sitifano for Talafo. Lua Manuval Catalina Sapolu has been appointed as Samoa's new ombudsman. Lua Manuval started her career as a lawyer for Samoa and Company in the 1980s to the 1990s and after being overseas, returned as principal solicitor from 1992 to 2002. She was appointed notary public in Samoa in 1988, the same year she was admitted to the power of the Supreme Court of Samoa. Lua Manuval held top positions with the ACB Group and has over 15 years of experience with the Commonwealth Secretariat from being an advisor to the head of the Legal and Constitutional Affairs Division of the Secretariat in 2002. She continued to hold top legal position with the Commonwealth Rights in 2019. She has since returned to Samoa and is currently the barista of the Law Director for the PL Strategy Consulting Limited. The new ombudsman holds a Master of Law with merit of specialising in public international law from the University of London, a Bachelor of Laws degree from Oakland University, as well as a Bachelor of Arts degree in Philosophy from the University of Newcastle in Australia. Lua Manuval takes on the ombudsman's role from Afiyonga Mayava Yulai Toma, who served as ombudsman for 27 years. To other news, the Speaker of Parliament has denied claims that prolonged Parliament session as a dirty political ploy. Francis Sassoluven Alepa has this story. The Speaker of the House, Le Aubepe Tolia Fofa Fisi, moved to sit the rigorous straight in Parliament today, refuting claims by the Fatua Tuilia Tuosa Mowatasi Party that the extended Parliament sittings were a deliberate move by the ruling party to keep members from carrying out their political campaigns and roadshows. He was referring to the Prime Minister Tuila Epa Lupe Soleaisa Ilili Malialingoi, insistence that accusations made by the Fast Party against government in what La Uli Polota Ivan Fossi imply to as dirty politics and needed to be corrected to set the record straight. The Fast Party leader, while addressing participants of Ngangai Mangwa No. 2 Fast Party Roadshow, was recorded live on social media earlier this week making these accusations against government. The Parliament Speaker defended the process, stating that the extended number of parliamentary daily sittings was due to the fact that this is the last session of the 16th parliamentary term and as such, he was more lenient in allowing all members of the House the opportunity to make their final remarks before his term came to an official end. Furthermore, Leo Bebe explained that the option to have evening sitting for Parliament was in consideration of the members so that they could be well rested and maintain good health for the sitting the following day. The Speaker then reminded members of the House that permission to take leave from parliamentary sitting must be sought and approved by him as the Speaker of the House. Francis Asul Vengalipa for Telephone. Residents of Faleatiu and Satapuala celebrated the opening of their newly constructed roads. Alvin Sarasopa was there and filed this report. The communities of Faleatiu and Satapuala ecstatically opened their long-awaited newly built paved roads. It has been a long time coming and with government funding of 1.8 million tala. Faleatiu and Satapuala villages can proudly travel along their 2.6 kilometers long tarsiered roads. 
It was a Tapo celebration for the Satsapuala community who also gratefully acknowledged their new water pipe system, providing the village with a continual supply of water. The Prime Minister Tula Epa Lupesoli Aisa Ilelimalielingawe told the two communities in his official address that the roads and the pipelines and water supply are all part of government's ongoing development plans to ensure the safety and well-being of everyone. Elvin Sarasopa for Talafo. The Apolimauta community have taken it upon themselves to provide education for all in the village, thanks to the help of the Australian government. Alisa Lawano Maoni has more. The villages of Apolimauta today celebrated the opening of their new learning centre, which will cater not only for students, but also for anyone else in the village that wants to further their studies and utilise the facility. The learning centre came about through a request by the Apolima League of Employees to the Australian High Commissioner in Samoa. The latest update on the progress in the registration of 20 volunteers comprised of different prof professions for our, from our Apolima community. Also registration or enrollment of at least 50 students, mostly from our primary school here. Our association had held workshops with our volunteers and awareness programs for our community and an orientation program for the registered student to be held next week, Monday, after school hours. The Learning Centre will cater for the community at large and is to be run by the Apolima Youth Volunteers that will provide assistance to those that come into the centre. And we're going to help the kids who need help. This room is good for us to learn our reading and to learn our English and to use the computer for our homework and all the things that we need to do in this, this room. To help the children to learn and, and read the The center comes fully equipped with computers and will operate in the evenings starting next Monday. Uh, for now, uh, a Polima League of Employees are still going to lead, but we have 18 volunteers, um, all from different backgrounds of studies. They are willing to help us, so yes. The Australian High Commission in Samoa was only too happy to invest in furthering education for the Apolima community. I wish the Apolima League of Employment all the best in driving this endeavour and every success for those who use this well-equipped centre. And I pray that this learning centre will continue to provide a safe learning environment for all those who enter its doors for years and years to come. May it bring prosperity to your community. The Pulenu'u, in acknowledging the community's gratitude for the centre, encouraged the community to make good use of the centre as it was to their benefit and that of the future generations of Apolima. Alisa Lawano Fa'amaoni for Talafo. And here's a look on your weather forecast for tonight and tomorrow. Talafala Samoa is your weather forecast for tonight and tomorrow, issued by Samoa Meteorology Division at 5.30 p.m. today, Friday, 12th of February 2021, brought to you by Lowell Company. Situation. A moist northeast to east wind flow prevails over Samoa. Meanwhile, a weak convergence zone remains slow moving from the northeast with associated clouds and showers. For all parts of Upolu and Savai'i for tonight, isolated showers, brief moderate falls and few thunderstorms. For all parts of Upolu and Savai'i for Saturday, isolated showers then becoming frequent in the evening. And that is your weather forecast for tonight and tomorrow, brought to you by Lowell Company. And that concludes our telephone for tonight. Thank you so much for watching. Tato telephone na molinea fiafi, fafi time and mamai to fasoi for.